Hello everyone and welcome to this year's book cover, and today I'm going to be discussing Hands, Claws, Hooves, and Paws, which is my theory that hands are actually canon in MLP. Alrighty, without further ado, let's start this thing, shall we? Well, I'll, by the end of the video, I will make sure that you know the uh, what, what makes me think hands are canon. So, well, let's start with the claws, shall we? I'm going to list off a few creatures that have claws and are canon. So, well, let's see. We got Gummy. We got Dragons, of course. Uh, we have Griffins. I know they have Talons, not Claws. Uh, yeah, not Claws, but I'm grouping Talons in with Claws. There's Birds and such that make Claws and Talons canon. Okay. That's quite a simple thing to say, ain't it? <laughs> Alright, um, next thing is hooves. That's right, hooves. Sorry, I have to repeat the title in my head. Because the title is actually the kind of the order I'm going to do it in, except the hands are going to be last instead of first. Uh, let's go with hooves. Hooves are... Now, I'm, I'm letting you know right now I am leaving out Discord. Okay, I'm leaving out Discord. Because, well, it's Discord. He can be literally anything he wants to be. So, anyways, where was I? Oh, yeah. Um, creatures that have hooves. Well, of course, the ponies. The alicorns, the unicorns, the pegasus, the earth ponies. All of those have hooves. There's also the buffalo. Um, the yaks. Who else has hooves? Uh, donkeys and mules. Um, who else? Who else? Who else? Who else? Who else? Sorry, I'm doing this all off of my own head, so if I forget anything, please let me know in the comments below what it is. And I probably won't do an annotation, but it'll be in the comments, so everybody will be able to see it. Sweetness. Anyways, um, crap. Yeah, I think that's all for uh, hooves. Paws. Now it's time for paws. Um, let's see what kind of creatures we have for paws. Because there's a lot of freaking creatures in MLP. There are... Manicores. Um, chimeras. Oh yeah, there's also uh, cockatrices for the uh, talent ones. I just, I just remember that. Anyways, uh, there's manticores. There's chimeras. There's dogs, cats, stuff like that. That's an interesting thing, though. Because, technically, a manticore has claws. But, its appendages are paws. Which makes it all confusing. Yeah, uh, that's why claws are... That's why I put claws in with talons and stuff like that. So I can distinguish well between those and those. Because cats have claws. The manticore has claws. The chimera has claws. Chimera also has hooves. I really should have just left out the mixture animals. But then that would have made my whole argument invalid anyways. So. And then, well, I guess since I'm doing it. Let's talk about Discord for a second. He has hooves. He has claws, and he has paws. <laughs> Discord has just about everything. But he doesn't have hands. Now that, that that's something there that's kind of interesting. Well, Twilight's always... Twilight's been talking about hands for a bit, too. So, yeah, there's that. That, could, that right there could make it canon. But then again, that could have also been a miss. So, I'm only going to go with creatures and animals that have hands. Um, now, for the hands section, there was a few things that I chose not to put in due to the fact of it being controversial, I guess. I left out uh, Equestria Girls, because a lot of people say that's not canon, so fine, I'll leave out Equestria Girls. And I know probably by now I'm getting a lot of comments saying, hey, hands are not canon in MLP. Well, 
by the end of this, you'll change your mind. Or you're just going to ignore simple, easy facts. But that's beside the point, and that's not my fault. Anywho, as I was saying, there's a few creatures, there's a few instances that I left out. Um, I decided to put Stephen Magnet, since he is a sea serpent, in with the uh, claws category instead of hands, even though it looks like he has hands. Um, I also left out the pinky clones. I'm not counting the pinky clone that had a hand on one hook. Which was freaky. And I'm also leaving out Pinky in general because whatever the clones could do, Pinky could do. Uh, Pinky being the one that breaks the fourth wall all the time and everything. Kinda wouldn't feel right to use anything she does to make it canon because I actually think some of the stuff she does isn't canon. <laughs> but. That's a that's an argument for another day. <laughs> Anyways, uh, well, those are a few creatures I decided not to put in with the hand categories. A few instances, creatures I decided not to put in with the hands category. Now let's talk about the hands category. This is where people are probably going to say it's not canon. Hands aren't canon. Yes, I get it. Equestria girls, not canon. That's understandable. But there are creatures that have hands that are canon. Now, here they are. So, there is the centaur, otherwise known as T-Rex, which makes hands canon. But then again, he was a villain, one-shot type thing. Um, he was a one-of-a-kind creature, so I guess that doesn't wouldn't really count that much. There's Awizoto, who again was a one time creature, and not a lot of planes know he really existed. And then there is Iron Will. Iron Will, who is a Minotaur. And here's where it gets interesting Minotaurs are half man, half bull. Uh, ancient Greek mythology, which, God, I freaking love that this show has so much mythology like that. It makes it all interesting for me. <laughs> that's, actually, that's actually one of the reasons I like the show so much, because it has Greek mythology and things like that. But, Iron Will, who is seen by many ponies because of his inspirational speeches that he gives has hands. He has hands. Iron Will. One creature that many ponies seem to either forget about or not count is Iron Will. Who is, as I said, a minotaur, which is half man, half bull. He's also a little bit more bull than man because he has all the fur. But, you know, Hey. And some of the mythology behind the Minotaur is that this is also why he was in a um, a maze. God, I couldn't remember the word. Minotaurs were actually actually lived in mazes. They did. They lived in mazes. They were the guardians of the center of the maze, where they would live their entire life and eat any creature that decided to go in. Which I'm glad they decided not to do with. Iron Will, because he's actually kind of freaking cool. Now, a lot of people don't like Iron Will. They don't like him because they believe that Iron Will caused um, Fluttershy to go all nuts. Actually, he didn't. All he did was run a business. It was kind of a scam business. He ran a business. Proper, good business. And good business tactic, too. You don't pay if you're not satisfied. Which is awesome. But it kind of backfired, and I'll get more into this later when I actually review that episode. Why? He actually should have gotten paid. But yeah, when I review that episode later, I'm going to go more into detail about that. Alrighty, well, I hope this 
little video was enlightening in any way that you might feel that it's needed to be enlightened upon. And, as always, this is me signing off. Y'all have a wonderful day, and don't forget to smile.